Someone was asking recently about these USB cigarette lighters. And these things are roughly the same size as an ordinary cigarette lighter. But um, they've got this button that can slide in two directions. The first direction it slides in, it latches over that direction, and you can plug it into a USB charger to charge. If you slide it out in the other direction, then push it forwards, I'm not sure if this will be visible, but the end glows, and if you hold something combustible on it, you get smoke, and basically you'd light your cigarette on that. So um, let's take a look inside this. The element, incidentally, let's get a wee notepad here. The element assembly um, seems to be a ceramic tray with an element coming in like this looping round, going back out again, like that, and then sort of crimping onto something, I guess, at the sides. And it's got a sort of ceramic dish with sort of ridges so that you can press it in without damaging this wire. So let's um, take this to bits. It's worth mentioning that when you plug it in, um, to charge, it glows a, a strange whitey blue down here and when you put it up uh, to actually operate it and then you pull it back, there's a brief afterglow at the very bottom in here of what looks like an ultraviolet LED and when the battery is low, that battery, that LED flashes on and off and that suggests that this may actually be based on the chip out of electronic um, cigarettes, which also have the um, heating element that can glow red hot, but wrap round the wick, and the charging circuitry. But anyway, let's uh, open this up. It's got two screws, two little um, crosshead screws, with really small... actually smaller than that bit. Let's try that. Well, that's going to work. So I'll take those two screws out. The case doesn't seem to be physically in two parts. It seems to be one moulded piece. If it is in two parts, it's glued. But it looks as though this is going to slide out this end. If I... Oh. Right, OK. That little bit drops out. So is this going to slide out completely now? OK. Ah. There's a button. I'm guessing that activates the heating element. Yep. Okay. So that when you push this forward, um, you act, it's actually the act of pushing it forward pushes in this quite robust button. I think it's a fairly high current one. Probably, again, based on the electronic cigarette versions. Now, how does this come apart? Does it come apart? Will it just slide out? This metal cover here, um, presumably to stop people shoving a, a cigarette into the plastic and also to give it some heat resilience, seems to have tabs. Let's try popping those out. I'm not too bothered if I break this because I don't actually smoke cigarettes. It would be handy for lighting joysticks, but I don't really use joysticks either. Okay, is this going to slide out now? Oh, it is. Oh, that's quite neat. Okay, so here's the circuit board. It's got a lithium cell on the back. Let's just check the voltage in that. polarity so I'll just stick it on in the old way. 3.8. Okay. It's got a tiny little chip in the bottom. A six pin chip which I'm guessing is pretty much doing everything because the rest are just capacitors. Yeah, there's just three capacitors, they're all marked C, uh, C, 2, 4 and 5. And this is marked USB 4. 
Um, interestingly, it's got a telephone number in the bottom of it. And HTTP DGYCDZ88.CN.1688.com. 1688 1688.com. Is that not an e-commerce portal? Hmm. So this uh, little ceramic thing is actually ceramic. It feels quite stony. And it's got little brass um, connections coming through, and I think those heating elements are spot welded onto it. I'm just going to check that by looking through a microscope at it. Um, actually, I wonder if I could use the... No, I'll have to. It's tiny. I was going to use the phone but um, as a microscope. Where is my microscope? Here it is. Okay, that's where we see if there's that number on this chip. There it is, a number on the chip. Let's focus up. Mm, quite a hard number to read because it's one of those etched, laser etched in ones, I think. Seven one hundred XM seven one hundred XM seven one hundred appears to be it. I'll just note that down. Um, pen. XM seven one hundred. I haven't a clue what that is. I wonder if it's. I guess it probably is a dedicated electronic cigarette type thing because it's working exactly the same way. When you press the button, um, that heating element is coming on, and that little LED's. Um, oh, it does actually glow. Oh, and it ramps it up as well. This is an electronic cigarette chip. So let's hold it in and it will grow hot, but um, theoretically after a while it should cut out and that should start flashing that little LED. You can barely see the LED at the end with the plug and there it goes, it's flashing, it's turned it off and it's flashed it several times. So that is uh, an electronic cigarette uh, chip. Can you lock it out? No, it's not got the locking function, but then that would make sense because people could accidentally lock it out. So yeah, that's interesting. It is just the, because the electronic cigarette chip has everything that's needed. It's got the battery charging circuitry. It's got the ability to drive high current um, resistive loads. Um, it just makes sense, I suppose, to actually use it that way. Yeah, that's quite a neat little gadget. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but it's neat enough. Quick update on the electronic cigarette lighter. Um, it does have a dedicated chip in it. I'm not 100% sure if it's purely an electronic cigarette one or if it's actually intended at this application. If it is intended for this application, it's almost certainly based on an electronic cigarette chip. The components on it are not all capacitors. They seem to have used the generic term C for component, I'm guessing. And it's notable that it does follow a textbook example with um, a 10 ohm current limiting resistor in the input um, to act as part of the current limiting for the charging circuit. And it's got a couple of capacitors for just where you'd expect them basically across batteries and the USB input. Um, and it's got another resistor in series with the heating element. Now this thing can apparently supply about 2.5 amps um, so it's quite a beefy little uh, MOSFET inside this chip. Um, uh, the 0.11 ohm, I'm guessing it's 0.11. I couldn't actually measure it accurately, but it says R110 on it, so I'm guessing that means the R is the decimal point there, 0.11. And it would make sense because it's in series the heating element over here. And I measured the voltage across it and got 0.173 volts, which would give a current of about 1.6 amps. And I measured uh, under load, I measured the voltage across this um, heater, and it came out at 2.5 volts, and 2.5 volts times 1.6 amp comes to a nice round 4 watts. Now, the heating element arrangement, the way it's mounted is actually quite clever. I thought it was spot welded on, and it's not. They've taken a bit of brass, um, and I think it's brass, and they've... Um, 
folded it, it's this shape with a hole in the middle, and they've basically folded that flap underneath and these ones down. And the ones that are folded down are the solder pads for going underneath. And the wire, the heating element wire, is fed through that hole before it's folded round and that traps it tightly inside and then it's folded up at the back. So it's just really pincered in between those brass contacts. I guess that means um, it's quite an easy way to make contact with something that is normally quite a difficult uh, material to make an electrical connection to. I originally thought the button was handling quite high current, but I think it's just a stiff button for its uh, for robustness in its application. It's really just providing a signal into the input of this uh, logic uh, here. So um, it's quite an interesting little chip, the XM7100. Very hard to find data sheets on, um, on the internet. And uh, it was all heavily Chinese sites that just weren't really... Um, yeah, they weren't very easy to even navigate around. But um, it's an interesting circuit. It's, uh, it may well be that that has been adapted specifically for these... Um, lighters. So um, that was quite interesting.